Okay, we are going to go into the normalized floating point representation, uh, which tend to be a bit difficult for a number of students. So I have a typical question here. Okay, we'll go through the question first. So in a computer system, right, real numbers, okay, which are decimal numbers, are stored using normalized floating point. Okay, with this representation over here. 12 bit of Mantisa, the front part, 4 bit for exponent, this one is the exponent, 2 complement for, for both Mantisa and exponent. And we are supposed to find the ternary value, which is uh, this step. Right. So if you like to have a try on this question, I will suggest you pause the video. All right. uh, because after this, I will go through the step, the working towards the answer. Okay, so I have copied the bit string for the Mandisa as well as the uh, exponent. The first thing I will look at is I will look at the first bit to identify whether they are positive number or they are negative number. So if I look at the mantisa, the first bit is a 1. So the mantisa is actually a negative number. Then I look at the uh, exponent. The exponent first bit is a 0. So I know that it is a positive number. Now, I'm working on the exponent first because positive number is easier to work with. Right. So if it's a positive number, I don't have to do any changes. Okay. So I can just evaluate it directly. So 1, 0, 1, well, is actually 5. So I already got the answer for the uh, exponent. Now I come to the uh, mantisa. I know that the mantisa is a negative number, so I put a negative here just to remind myself that it is actually a negative number. So based on the question, if it is a negative number, I have to do a two's complement. So perform a two's complement on this string of binary, and you should get zero, one, zero, 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 all right. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. After the two's complement. Right, after the two's complement. You will get this. Okay. The next thing to do is actually to make the adjustment. We using the exponent. So the exponent is uh, 5. All right, so the exponent is 5. So I need to move, all right, so I need to move five uh, point, all right, five uh, places, okay. So the new location for the decimal dot will be here, all right, so the new location for the decimal dot will be here, all right, so this is the new location. Okay, so now I have the this part, which is the uh, front part of the decimal. Okay, all right. So I just need to solve this. Okay, so one, two, four, eight, sixteen, sixteen, and one is seventeen. But I must remember this is a negative seventeen. So I got this portion done. All right. Okay, so now I want to do the back portion, this this portion, which is after the decimal dot. All right. So to do the this one, all right, I can make use of the two power minus one, two power minus two, two power minus three, two power minus four, two power minus five. Uh, I do not need to do this one because this one is a zero, so zero has no meaning after the decimal dot. All right. So I only need to do. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so 1, 0, 0, 
one one all right so i have a two power minus one which is 0 0.5 i have a two power minus four which is a uh, 0 0.0625 and a two power minus five which is a uh, 0.03125 okay so these three ones keep uh, one here one here and one here i add them up i will get this number over here 0.59375 okay so remember the front portion is a minus 17 so minus 17 followed by the back portion 0.59375 so this will be your final answer